SASE is the networking and security buzzword of the year. Let's look at the pros and cons. Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, is a relatively new approach to networking and security that organizations are turning to as remote work demands increase. We'll talk about SASE pros and cons in this video, and once you're up to speed, you can click on the link above to learn what not to do when implementing it. SASE is a cloud architecture model that bundles network and security as a service functions together into one cloud service, alleviating security burdens on the data center. Benefits of SASE include enhanced network security, protecting data from malicious traffic, spoofing, and man-in-the-middle attacks. A distributed architecture allowing apps to live anywhere, including in a public cloud, corporate data center, or software as a service offering, without sacrificing security or performance. Centralized management, efficiently routing network traffic and improving latency. Role-based policies with security dynamically applied based on the role of the entity trying to gain network access. Integrated security and routing, offering simpler deployment. And lowered WAN costs, reducing or eliminating expensive circuits in favor of VPN connectivity over the internet. As with all technologies, SASE has its share of drawbacks and limitations. Some challenges include an IT culture change. Networking and security teams are traditionally siloed with competing interests and may have to start working together. Market confusion around SASE. Many vendors claim they offer SASE architecture when it's not the complete picture. No more multi-sourcing from vendors. Traditionally, enterprises prefer to pick and choose functions from different vendors, but the idealistic SASE model uses a single vendor, losing some customizations and increasing vendor risk. And single point of failure risking entire system shutdowns if the provider has a technical issue. So what do you think? Are the risks worth the convenience and flexibility? Share your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to hit that like button.